Hey everybody, Kevin here. Time for another hot sauce review. This time I have Hitari Presents Addiction Nagajalokia. Uh, this will be the second sauce that I'm reviewing. Doesn't really have any warnings on it per se. Um, contains no preservatives or cholesterol. That's always good. Uh, refrigerate after opening, which is actually kind of strange um, considering it's a Naga sauce, but I guess that's because of the preservatives. There's no like artificial goodies in there, so it can actually go bad. Uh, in it we have ground naga, jalokia pepper, water, onion, salt, lemon juice, acetic acid, garlic pulp, and xanthan gum. So should be uh, should be pretty toasty. Uh, certainly hotter than the last one I had, which is kind of a a dud on the heat scale. Really tasty, but uh, not exactly a sweat producer or a hiccuper if, uh, if that's what you're looking for. Um, before I actually get going, while I can still talk, just want to give a shout out to Jim at uh, Uncle Biggs for donating some money to my fundraising. I'll be doing the uh, Ride to Conquer Cancer this June 9th and 10th, doing 260 kilometers over two days. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. Not only do I get fiery goodness, but I'm one step closer to reaching my goal. And uh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Um, also want to let you guys know that um, you should check out Uncle Big's. I'll put a link in the doobly-doo. It's uh, unclebig.com. They have lots of good stuff. And uh, if you order 65 bucks or more, they'll ship for free within Canada. Pretty sweet perk. Get rid of the uh, security seal so everybody knows I'm not tampering with it. I'm not putting Frank's hot sauce in it and going, oh, it's so hot. I don't know why anybody would do that. Neil from uh, Hippie Seed Company is sort of blazing a trail for that. No one really wants to, to cheat. Awesome, awesome. No plastic uh, doobie in the top. I don't know if anybody actually really uses those things. The first thing that I do is pop those puppies out because... It's one more step between me and sauce. All I want is a whole lot of it, and I want it right now. So. Mmm. Sounds really good. Definitely a, uh, a more straight-up chili smell. It doesn't have the, uh, the jerk seasoning like the last sauce that I reviewed. It's very straight-up. Oh, looking forward to this one. Admittedly shaking a little bit. It's, uh... A little bit higher up on the heat scale than the last one I did. So, uh, alright, let's do this. Trusty tablespoon, as has become the benchmark. Consistency, definitely chunky. Lots of, uh, lots of seeds in there. Oh, I'm totally going to get it everywhere. Just so everybody knows, it's pretty heaped. Do this. Lots of seeds, bits of pod. I can already feel the hiccups Just starting. Oh, <coughs> oh, went up my nose. Ooh, kind of a little bit saltier than. Uh, oh, ow. A little bit saltier than some uh, hot sauces. Ooh, I can already feel myself getting shiny. Oh. Uh, yeah, so definitely taste the naga, um, onion and garlic. It's definitely got a good uh, good base to it. Oh god, <laughs> got a good uh, good glow in the mouth, back of the throat, as is the trademark Neil saying. Oh, <clears throat> the only bad part about having hot sauce out of a spoon is that your lips absolutely set on fire. Oh. <clears throat> anyway. It's really tasty. Um, would be good on like a burger, pretty much anything. Um, chili, tacos, pretty much anything that would uh, benefit from a good kick in the pants. 
Oh, I have seeds stuck in my teeth. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see. I think my eyes are watering. <clears throat> oh, really good. Really good. It's uh, one thing that I like about this is that it doesn't have any sort of bitter taste. I know some of the, the super hot pods can, uh, can start to get that kind of like weird bitter taste, not really metallic-y like extract. Sorry, I'm drooling like crazy. But uh, yeah, it's, it's really good. I wish I had um, my Melinda's Naga sauce, because I've got that too. I might actually do a, uh, a review of that as well. Sorry, I don't know what else I can say. I'm crying and I'm sweating and my throat's gone off. My nose is running. Oh. Good burn all around the mouth. Actually, what's weird is that my gums hurt. We, uh, what are we? Six minutes in, wow. Time flies when you're eating sauce. Oh. Yeah, definitely check this out. It's um, not as hot as some Naga sauces I've had. Um, some just go like completely off the deep end, but this has a good all around chili sauce flavor. Um, I'm actually going to have a little bit more of that. That was good. Probably going to regret that in the morning. Spoon number two. That tells you how good it is. Hmm. Surprisingly chunky. I know, um, some Blair's sauces and, um, oh, I forget the other brand. Um, oh, Nagasabi by uh, Kajans, or Cajones, or however you want to pronounce it. They blend their sauces. It's all just sort of this homogenous fire. This is actually really good because as you chew it, you get bits of pop and fire and brimstone in your face. Oh, man. Oh, ow. It's actually kind of funny. You don't want to swallow it because your throat kind of clenches up and spreads out the fire again. And you get bits and pieces everywhere. Oh, my God. Why do I do things just before bed? So, yeah. Really good. Addiction. Naga Jalokia. It's awesome. Also by uh, Hatari Brothers. The uh, jerk sauce that I just reviewed, also by them. Ooh. That second was a mistake. I can feel it coming down my throat now. Going, going towards the stomach. I'm going to be having some frozen yogurt later. Whew. So, that was uh, two or three. Number three, I've got uh, acid rain barbecue. Should uh, be a welcome repose after this. Oh man. Yep. Shiny. So, once again, unclebig.com. <laughs> yep, just hit the, the uh, stomach. Check unclebigs.com. Really good selection. Fair prices. We got anything from mild for the beginners to this for the more uh, seasoned. Not as hot. Off the scale of some, but still damn tasty. As you can tell, gets a good reaction. And uh, yeah, check them out, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thanks.